everybody. Welcome to uh, an installment of Explodes on 6 Gaming. Uh, today we're going to be doing a product review. Um, as you guys might know from other videos, uh, my name is Bill. And uh, today we're going to be going over the Math Hammer app made by Mark Noble. Um, it's a pretty cool product. I've enjoyed using it. I'm glad I had the opportunity to really get to mess around and use this. Um, and uh, today we'll kind of just be going over sort of what the app is, um, how well it works, and uh, just whether or not it's kind of worth your uh, consideration for your future uh, 40K or Kill Team gaming needs. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So uh, Mark Noble, the guy that made this app, he approached us uh, not that long ago. He asked if we could just sort of uh, check out the app that he made, uh, Math Hammer. It's um, basically what it does is you input uh, on your phone, um, you input the, st the statistics of the unit that you're using to attack against the unit that's defending against you um, or model. And uh, basically it'll, based on the stats that you put in, it'll spit out the probability of doing wounds or how many models you might be able to kill. Um, it's pretty great in that it can factor in whether or not you get rerolls to hit, whether or not you have uh, ballistic skill plus or minus modifiers. Same thing with wounds. Um, it factors in the like Salamander's Master Artisan ability where you can reroll um, one hit or wound per unit. Um, so it basically has, it, it also has DACA. Um, so it has a lot of different sort of features that you can put in. Um, it can also save various weapon profiles. So if you have like a certain go-to unit, like so for me, it would be like Dark Angel Hellblasters or something. Um, you can basically save that profile and then just input whatever your preferred target is and then get the stats and kind of figure out um, whether or not it's going to be a favorable outcome for you. Um, what this is not is it is not a list builder. Um, so don't, uh, don't kind of download this app with the expectation that you're going to be able to replace Battlescribe. Um, but it is a great, it's a great addition to, uh, Battlescribe. Um, it's a great way to, if you're really big into theory crafting your list, that's one of my favorite parts of the hobby. Um, you're going to be able to kind of get a good sense of what sort of matchups various units in your list are going to be able to sort of, uh, survive. Um, it's, uh, it's been, it's been pretty good. Um, one of the nice things about it is, uh, Mark, who, who worked pretty hard on the app, um, he's been very easy to communicate with. He is very receptive when there is a problem with the app or if the math isn't working out properly. He's really good about just being able to update that information, um, immediately. And there's, on the app itself, there's going to be all kinds of ways to, sort of get in touch with him. So if there is any kind of error or bug that you encounter, it'll get resolved pretty quick. Um, the other thing that's nice about the app is that uh, it was made by a guy who's from the UK, and I like to think of England and 40K is kind of like, I guess it would be like Italians and pasta. It's just something that they have a natural affinity with. So uh, you're going to get the authentic... Warhammer Games Workshop experience because this app was made by a certified British person. So that's also going in its favor, I think. Um, so with that, I'll kind of show you how it works. We'll go over sort of how you input information into the app. And then, uh, and then from there, you know, we'll kind of, uh, you guys can follow along. I'll get the screenshots on the video. Um, and then uh, we'll We'll kind of see okay, uh, so, what we can do here. Uh, we're going to go into the app here. Um, we're going to, so you'll see when you first get into the app, there's going to be uh, an attacker profile for you to enter information to, and then there'll be a defender profile. Um, so what we'll do is, I mentioned Hell Blasters earlier, so let's go with that. Um, I'll have a 10-man squad of Hell Blasters. Um, we'll say they're in rapid fire range. It's the standard plasma incinerator weapon, so it's going to be 20 shots for rapid fire. Uh, there'll be ballistic skill 3. 
the strength, we'll say that we overcharge it, so it'll be strength 8. And then they have an AP of minus 4. Um, we'll say that I used Weapons of the Dark Age to bring the damage profile from 2 to 3. And then the total points investment for a 10-man Hellblaster squad uh, without upgrading the Sergeant uh, is going to be 330 points. Um, a lot of the games that we... Actually, you know what, let's, let's keep going from there. Uh, so a lot of the games that we play, I'll typically run Asriel or a Lieutenant, or usually both, so we'll do both. Um, I'll usually run them with the Hellblaster squad, so that's going to modify our hit rolls a little bit. So what we'll do is, you can see the ability to modify hit roll, um, or sorry, re-roll hits for this. So what we'll do is uh, re-roll all fails. You'll see that there's an option for one all or all fails. So we'll do all fails. Um, and then re-roll wounds, same thing. Uh, ones, alls, and all fails. It's a lieutenant, so we'll re-roll ones. And then you'll see further down on this uh, attacker settings menu, you have modify hit rolls, modify wound rolls. You can change the AP on a wound of six. Um, so it's pretty good if you're like a, a Gene Stealer cult player um, where uh, the AP can change substantially if you're rolling six. And then you can also uh, change the damage on a wound roll of six. There's also a feature here for extra mortal wounds on a wound roll of, and then it'll tell you two, three, four, five, six. That's great for... For instance, just to stay with Dark Angels here, that's great for Azrael, uh, because every time he gets a wound roll of six, it'll proc another mortal wound. Um, we also have the ability to check off various boxes, like reroll successful invulnerables. You can factor in the grab weapon, um, exploding sixes with modifiers, or no modifiers. The Salamander Rule, Haywire, Daka Daka, and more Daka Daka. So it's pretty, it's pretty thorough what you can do for the attacker settings. Um, so we've added that we can reroll failed hits and reroll ones to wound. So let's go over a uh, defender. Um, so typically, when uh, Nick and I play, if you've watched a lot of our bat reps, it'll turn into a lot of Dark Angels and Ad Mech games. So we'll do an Ad Mech. Um, we'll keep it standard for this and say that I decided to pit my Hell Blasters against a squad of his Vanguard. So they're going to be a basic toughness four. We input the amount of wounds. Uh, each model is one wound. Um, they try to set this up for how many models you can kill. So typically, instead of inputting the stats for a whole unit, um, you basically put the stats in for one model. Um, nothing really changes if you wanted to do, if you wanted to make it a whole squad and say that you were targeting like 10 Vanguard, all you would do is just put in 10 wounds instead of one wound. Uh, it just kind of changes the math in terms of how many models you'll kill. Um, so we'll say one wound. They have a save characters to go four, uh, six up invulnerable save, and then each model is, I'm pretty sure, eight points. So with that, it calculates the results here. Uh, it takes 20 shots, total hits. Uh, after factoring and rerolling all failed hits, uh, it suggests that the estimation is going to be 17.778. Um, so you can round up or down. Um, wounds caused uh, suggests that there's probably going to be about two and a half ones in there um, that you can reroll and that you'll at least be successful on. Uh, unsaved wounds, it suggests that 14 wounds are going to go through, doing a total of 43 damage, and it'll kill 14 models. Um, and then it'll give you like a little return on investment. I don't put a lot of stock in that as much, um, but that basically just takes like the total points um, that you're taking off the board versus how many points you had to spend on taking it off the board. Uh, but if you've played 40k for any amount of time, sometimes it's the cheapest the, the cheapest units that are having the biggest impact on the game. So I wouldn't really focus too much on that, but it is kind of a nice little thing to have if you're looking at a point for point uh, investment. Um, and then uh, so, I mean, that's basically, that's basically just the, the nuts and bolts of it. Uh, one of the cool features of this is that you can basically add multiple profiles. Um, so if, for instance, uh, here what we'll do is I'll put in, I'll put in Azrael's information. Um, and uh, in the app, 
It'll show you ballistic skill, uh, but you can interchange that for weapon skill. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, but so what you can do here is we'll say that uh, we've got Azrael, um, and he's got, I think, six attacks. Uh, weapon skill of two. He's going to be strength six with his sword. AP minus three damage. Uh, so this is another thing that's cool about the app is that it, it can factor in um, different kinds of damages. So if you have something like a... Like, like his sword or a Laz cannon that does D whatever damage, uh, you just put D and then the number. So for this, it's going to be D3. And then he's 180 points. And then we're going to modify this a little bit. Um, let's see, he re-rolls all failed hits because he's himself. Uh, we'll say that he's by himself. We'll say the lieutenant got picked off and all the hell blasters got wiped out too. And then, uh, and then what we do is extra mortal wound on a wound roll of six. And then uh, we'll close that. And then let's say he's going up against, uh, we'll say he's going up against like a space marine uh, captain. He's trying to keep his secret safe. He's fighting another space marine. And toughness four, let's say he's got five wounds. He's got a three up save and a four up in bone save, and we'll say that he's 100 and, I don't know, 20 points, give or take. That's probably what you're putting in if you've spent some some, uh, some of your capital on him. Uh, and then we'll say that um, just because Azrael, and this is the whole point uh, of what I was trying to talk about earlier, so I hope I'm not rambling here, but the whole point is that you can add additional weapon profiles. So we will save this here. You click on the little save thing, attack a profile name, Asriel, save, and then what we do is we click add weapon, weapon name, we'll just call it uh, combi plasma. So we'll basically assume what's happening is that uh, you're spending your shoot, it's your turn, you're playing with Asriel, it's a shooting phase, he's going to fire out his plasma and then he'll make a charge, get through Overwatch. Um, it's going to be, it'll be two shots, ballistic skill two, strength seven, AP minus three, damage, uh, he's not going to overcharge, and then use main profile and settings, uh, save and add another, and then we'll say that's the bolter part here, and then shots two, he's in rapid fire range, Ballistic skill 2, strength is 4, AP 0, damage 1. Okay, and then we'll save and close. And so basically that's going to factor in all your shots, so we'll change it. Um, you can, because I've added both profiles, that means he's going to be minus 1 to hit. Um, so really I can go back in there and change it to ballistic skill 3. Um, which is just as easy as going into edit. And then you'll kind of see combi plasma, bolter. So we'll just change that to ballistic skill 3. And then, there we go. Ballistic skill 3. And this will keep his melee profile on 2. Um, if you were, oops, ballistic skill. There we go, and then we'll save and close. Um, if you were going to just go ahead and maybe if you're using like a, a Devastator squad, a Devastator squad would be the perfect use for this. Um, you could factor in the sergeant, maybe he's got like a combi plasma or a combi melta, and then maybe your Devastator squad is a mix of like las cannons and multi meltas or something. You can add all those in and then apply it to whatever you're targeting, and it'll factor in all of that information. So for this, um, it's going to assume that Azrael has a total of 10 shots, and it separates out the melee weapon, which has stuff like proctoring a mortal wound on a 6, um, versus the like plasma and bolter guns. Um, it's going to assume that out of those 10 attacks, 8 of them are going to hit. It's going to cause uh, 5.5 wounds, which will round up or down. 
And then how many wounds are going to be unsaved, total amount of damage it's going to go through, and then how many models you're going to end up killing with that, which in this case is going to be um, one, uh, based off of a three up save and a four up invuln save. So uh, it's, I mean, it's that's really all there is to it. One of the nice things about this too is that you can kind of go in and you can change the settings for kill team. And the kill team works almost exactly the same, except it replaces the amount of dead models with the um, out of action role and the probability that your model is going to be out of action or the model that at least is taking the hits is going to roll out of action. So um, the, app is, the app is great. This, I haven't had any real issues with it. Um, there was briefly a problem where it would calculate if you had, um, I think we found that if you had a ballistic skill of four and you had a reroll ones to hit and then you could add one to the ballistic skill, it was cranking out like a, a, a statistic that was like way too conservative. So the, in terms of, it would essentially assume that you hit way less than you're probably going to. Uh, but one of the nice things, and like I mentioned earlier, is that basically it's just a matter of, of contacting uh, Mark and telling him what the problem is, and then he'll look at the math, and then he just plugs, plugs and chugs some numbers, and it's, it's good as new, and it's updated within a few hours. So uh, the support for this is, is fantastic so far. Uh, okay, so we went over um, how the app itself sort of works. Um, some of the other things about it. The app does cost money. It is not a free app. Uh, it's not expensive, though. I mean, if you've invested any amount of time in this hobby, you'll know that the price racks up uh, pretty fast. Uh, three forty-nine is the price tag. So for for three dollars and, and fifty cents, um, you know, I think you're getting a pretty good deal. Uh, the app is constantly being supported. It's constantly being updated, and uh, honestly, it's just it's pretty handy when you're building your list. So I wouldn't consider it too steep. There are no ads. Uh, basically, the idea is that you just pay a one-time price to get access to the product, and then after that, that's that's it. Um, honestly, I don't think you can really do much better for this hobby in terms of trying to figure out how to build sort of a good list around that. Um, especially with how crazy the meta is at a lot of these tournaments nowadays with um, Space Marines in particular being so strong and just kind of dealing with a lot of the, uh, the chicanery um, with like the Iron Hands chapter and probably pretty soon Imperial Fists by the time this video comes out. Um, that's actually one of the nice things about the app is that you can factor in stuff like dealing with a unit that can, like a, like a Relic Leviathan Terminator. You can actually put in the information for that kind of unit with a four up invulnerable save. Um, I think it has like 16 wounds and then the stratagem where they can cut that, the amount of damage they take in half, and then you can factor in the iron stone, which reduces damage by one. So this gives you, this can kind of help you figure out good units to deal with that and trying to deal as much damage as possible. Um, same thing, obviously not exclusive to the relics, but you know, the new repulsor tanks, uh, the repulsor executioners are, are super hot right now. So, that's just another thing that you can kind of like plug and chug in there. So it's just a great app for just spending a, a few minutes of your day while you're trying to figure out a list for a tournament or just at a local match play game. Um, just kind of what what is and isn't going to work. Um, something to keep in mind though is that this is a game of dice and there is no there's no calculator, there is no formula on here that's ever going to be 100% right all the time. So even if, you know, you spent time figuring out how to take down uh, something crazy like a, a Forge World model or a Relic Leviathan or an Imperial Knight, um, it, it, 
you might roll like crap, or you might roll far better than what the the app uh, predicts that you can. So, just something to go in mind if going forward. It's not a not a fortune teller, uh, but I think everyone watching this video probably probably knows that. Um, so, bottom line, up front, uh, absolutely worth it. Fantastic app. Uh, seriously great. Um, Mark Noble's uh, really cool guy. Uh, not that I, I don't know him super well, but uh, he's been fantastic to work with. Uh, he's working on a bunch of other stuff. I hope he gives us the opportunity to uh, review more of his uh, work and the labor of his love. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Uh, feel free to uh, ask questions in the comments. We'll get back to you. And uh, if there's stuff that you want to see, definitely let us know. Uh, you can find us at all of the links that we do. Uh, thanks, and happy roll.